We're on Shabbat Perak Aleph Mishnah Chet. We're continuing to discuss the machloket, the argument between Beit Shammai and Beit Hillel about whether your kevim, your utensils, have to rest on Shabbat, just like the rest of you. So the Mishnah says, and this actually, this Mishnah actually dovetails and leads into a fascinating issue which has real halachic relevance today, which I'll explain. Says the Mishnah, Beit Shammai Omri, Beit Shammai says, Ein notnim orot abdan. You can't give your skins to the tanner, velo kelim, nor your clothing, the koves nochri, to a non-Jewish uh, washer person, you know, a uh, clothes washer, ela kadeshi yasu mi ba'odyom. Unless kadeshi yasu is a very relevant, important halacha, uh, halachic term. Kadeshi yasu means unless there's enough time for them to at least complete the task, mi ba'odyom, during the day. They don't have to actually do the task, but it has to be kadeshi yasu. They have to have enough time in order to do it. So why? Again, because we learned that Beit Hilea, Beit Shammai felt that you, ha- you had to, that there was a, an issue or not only of your, you have to rest, not an Israel, but an injunction of a, a Jew should rest, but also his animals, his, you know, his household, his servants, and also his kelim, also his utensils. So you can't give your laptop to a non-Jew because your laptop has to rest on Shabbat. Okay? And as long as he had time to do it mi ba'odyom, that would be enough. Ubekulan, and with all of them, Beit matirim ima shamesh. Beit permits you to give them ima shamesh as, right before sunset, as long as the non-Jew has enough time to get out of the house before Shabbat begins. Now, this idea of Kadesh Yasu, as I mentioned, so that's the machloket between Beit Shammai and Beit Hillel, that's the essence of our Mishnah. But this idea of Kadesh Yasu does have important halachic relevance. I'm going to turn to, there's a site, this is the, the site of Rav Melamed, Rav Eliezer Melamed on uh, Atar Yeshiva, I'm showing you, it's uh, yeshiva.org.il. Okay, and Rav Melamed writes, uh, I'm pretty sure this is also in Panini Halacha, but he writes about Melechet Goy. So there's, a, there's an isur, a person is not allowed to ask, uh, the, the Rabbanan made a gzeira, the Chazal made a gzeira, and they said a person is not allowed to ask a goy to do work for you on Shabbat. Like, because just like you're, you are per, enjoined from doing work, so Chazal made, a, made an injunction and said you can't ask a non-Jew to do work for you because what would be the point? So I, my, just like I, uh, I close my store, but I can ask a goy to you know, keep my store open. It's very complicated, obviously, there's a lot of halakhic ramifications, but you're not allowed, allowed to permit it to ask a goy to do work for you or in your field. You know, otherwise, I, you know, the field's fallow, but the goy can do the work. It's my field. You're not allowed to do that. Okay? And there's an Israel of Amira and Nachri. Similarly, you're not allowed to ask a non-Jew to turn on the lights for you. There's big misconceptions about that, big understandings, but you're not allowed to ask them to do that. To do that. Okay? So we said, Asur li skor poalim goyim. You can't hire non-Jewish workers. She avdu b'shabbat. Okay? So they should do work for you on Shabbat. Now, it doesn't mean you can't hire a non-Jewish worker to come and, like, you know, set up your room or work in the caterers, because they don't, they're not obligated to do malacha. And a Jew could work as a caterer, so you can ask a non-Jew to do that, too. You can't ask a non-Jew to come and fix your washing machine. That you're not allowed to do, even on Shabbat. Now, what about, am I allowed to, there, what about, am I allowed to hire, so Rabbi Malami says the following, that rule is only if they're schirim, I'm hiring them as workers, i.e., I pay them for their time. If they work as a contractor, then it's mutar. Kablan mut means I give you a job to do and you do it whenever you want, and that's fine. Okay? So, but Ramalama says, interestingly, this is only true, and this is how we paskin, this is only true if, one second, I have to find it. Okay? If, it doesn't matter what he, when he does it, he could do it on Shabbat, because he could do it whenever he wants. Okay? speak the avodah. Gam below la avod b'shabbat. Because the goy can do this work, even, I'm going to see if I can make this a little bigger. One second. Since the, since the goy, uh, it's a, the, the, the site doesn't allow me to show the whole site. It's not mut'am. It's not, doesn't, okay, I'll just read it. If you can see it, I apologize if it's too small. He says, one second. The kevan sha goy yechola, speak the vatseyat avodah gam below la avod b'shabbat. Since the goy doesn't have to work on Shabbat, he can fix my car on Friday, he can fix it on Sunday. Hare im avad b'shabbat. If he worked on Shabbat, despite the fact that the, guy, that the Jew benefits because he did the work on Shabbat, okay, there's no prohibition. But, Rabbi Malabit points out, what I can't do is the following. I can't ask the guy, I can't go to the guy, five minutes, I can't bring my, my, my clothing to the cleaner, it's five minutes before Shabbat, and say to him, I need this on Saturday night, I got an event Saturday night. Got, this halacha is not based on our Mishnah of Beit Shammai, we're not passing it like Beit Shammai, we don't hold, my, my clothing, can, somebody can do malacha, but I'm not allowed, there's a prohibition of Amir al I can't ask a non-Jew to do malacha for me, and if, I, if I've got to have the car fixed, and I bring it to him five minutes before Shabbat, and it's got to be done right after Shabbat, 
then essentially, even though he's a kablan, I'm essentially asking him to do malacha for me on Shabbat. Okay, in that case, in order for me to be permitted and not violate the Isra of Amiral and Achri of the Rabbanan, then I need Kadesh Yasin. I have to give it to him within enough time before Shabbat. If I give it to him at 4 o'clock on Friday afternoon and Shabbat is at 5, essentially you could do dry cleaning in an hour. He's going to do it on Shabbat? Not my problem. But Kadesh Yasu is a relevant halachic term in that instance. We'll stop here. If you have any comments, you can contact me at this email address, or sponsor at gmail.com, and we'll dedicate this learning to the memory of my father, Rav Simcha Ben Yitzchak Kalman. Have a good day.